Hello and welcome to the second video for the 2019 summer paper for AQA Core Maps. Today we're starting with question four and hopefully we'll get to question five by the end of this video. It should hopefully be a nice short one. So we're starting off with question four. Yasmin wants to save money for her newborn son to go to university when he is 18. She wants to invest some money in a savings account so he will have at least £20,000 in 18 years time. She owns a savings account at 5.5% compound interest. Oh my God, if only bank accounts had a 5.5% interest, honestly. Um, and it's going to have compound interest for 18 years. Work out the minimum amount she needs to invest. So she wants to invest an amount, which is basically X. We're going to multiply that by 1.055, which is the decimal multiplier for an increase of 5.5%. If you wonder where that's come from. We have to divide that by 100, which gives us 0 0.055, and then add, we'll add 1 to it to give 1.055. So that's the increase. Right. Anyway, back to this. We want it to be more than or equal to 20,000. And I've missed out one bit because that's the calculation for one year. She's going to have it compounding for 18 years. Okay, so in your calculators, you will need to do the following. And I am going to be talking about Casio FX85 GT Plus. Other calculators are available. So 1.055. Type that in. Then there's a little button where we've got X with this little bit here colored in. It's to the right of the X squared button. So you need to push that button and then type in there. Oh, whoops, a daisy. 18. Hit the equals button. One sec, 1.055 to the power of 18. It's given me something like 2.62146662666. But leave it on your calculator because what we need to do next to bring that across from one side of the equation of the inequality to the other side is to do the division. So 20,000 divided by answer, if you've kept it on your answer line, will prevent any type of rounding happening too early. You can probably hear me bashing the calculator at the moment. So we get 7629.31808. Now, even if, there's another eight at the end, even if this value here was below a five, I'd still be rounding it up to make sure that we've got enough money in that bank account. So we've got £7,629.32 and that will increase over time for that person to have £20,000 in that bank account. If you want to check it, you can go through and do the calculation again. 7629.32 times by 1.055, so by reversing up to the power of 18. Reverse that, gets me to just about 20000 so that's correct. Always good checks. You can leave that exam hall feeling as though you've got the maximum marks that you're capable of. So question five, estimate the total amount of time per year taken by all the students in an average year 10 class to get ready to go to school in the morning. Now, it says state any assumptions that you make. So that's got to be your first thing to do. Reading the question is really important. I've had a few classes in the past that misread this question. Uh, well, I've had one class in the past that misread this question because this is the 2019 paper. But you have to, I'm going to say the prep, I'll talk about the prep time in a second. Average year 10 class. This is the problem. People think all the year 10s in the country or they'll think all the year 10s in a school, but it says an average year 10 class. And I'm going to go with 25 pupils. So 25 pupils in average class. Sometimes you get 30, 32, but you've got to sort of have a good estimate. I, I know there's an argument between private and state, but the mark scheme will give you a reasonable gauge. It will give you a reasonable range of, of pupils for that one. The number of days at school. Now, that's a tricky one. Unless you think the way I think. So there's 52 weeks in a, in a year. We have six weeks holiday, two weeks at Easter, two weeks at Christmas, and we have three half terms. In general, this is again state education. So that's 13. So we take 13 away from 52, giving us 39 weeks of the year. So 39 weeks of the year times by five. I've ignored bank holidays. 
Right, so 39 times by 5 gives me 195 school days. 195 school days. Having said that, I've got a poster in my classroom that says 190, but still, that's going to be fine. We're okay with that. Right, prep time. Prep time. I am not getting involved in any conversations of which gender takes the longest. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put out there half an hour to get ready. And also, it's because it's easy for me. So 0.5. Right. So we've got 25 kids. We've got 195 school days. So it's da, 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 da. students in average, they tend to get ready per year. So times that by 195. And then we're going to times it by 0 0.5, which will give me my answer, times by 25, times by 0 0.5. And that is the massive number of 2,437.5 hours. Fantastic. There we go. So that's question four and five. Hopefully by the end of the week, I'll get this paper done. Fingers crossed. I am looking to do paper 2B as well. But please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel because there will be lots more core maths things coming out. If you're a year 11 pupil having a look at these and you're interested in what happens in core maths, please do like and subscribe to the video as well. I would absolutely love to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. We're at the end of January. So fingers crossed we can make it. Thank you and bye bye.